Hi, my name is Cam Smith with U Sports Production, reporting from VI South Football Academy in Victoria, BC. Thank you for tuning in. Six foot seven, 340 pound offensive tackle Sebastian Sebald out of the Mount Doug AAA Varsity Rams heads into his final season with the program this fall with his eyes set on furthering his football journey at the next level. His commitment to the sport and dedication to school over the years continues to set up the number one ranked player at his position in BC and the number two ranked player at his position in Canada for success in the future. Training doesn't stop in the off season for Sebastian as he continues to work on his skills with the VI South Football Academy, Fox 40 Prospect Challenge and the BCCFA Showcase, The Game. Pure dominance between the lines and a humble approach to life continues to open doors for a player that checks all the boxes for post-secondary recruiters across Canada and south of the border. This is just trying to be the best, just trying to go somewhere. I just, I don't know, not many people make it out of here. I feel like I, I know like Dante and that's pretty much it. So I think it would be cool just to like put the city on the map. I've had a couple calls with the state so far and I've had a like, majority of the Canadian schools I've talked to. It's kind of stressful just like having all these phone calls and all these like people trying to talk to you and all these schools um, but it's just like kind of just go through it and talk and try and be yourself try and be as open as you can and don't kind of close your doors people that are really easy to talk to and like kind of like you feel like at the end of this like 15 30 minute talk you just kind of um, know them and you like feel like you're connected with them but then there's others that are just kind of ask you the questions and then kind of like leave so like that's that's kind of helping you make decisions too uh, Sebastian is he's obviously a physical specimen um, I, I will be honest though, the, the best part about Sebastian is, isn't his physical prowess, it's his, his personality, his mentality, his everything about him is, is someone that you want to coach and that you want to play with and you trust implicitly. He is an absolutely great human being. Um, an amazing football player, but a great human being. His, his parents and him have done an amazing job with it. What makes it very unique is that I think most people would assume that he's he would be arrogant or he would be something else because he has so much talent and so much potential and just his physical prowess is, is unnerving for a lot of people. But you, you meet him and you get to know him and he is as humble as they come and as respectful and as intelligent as, as anyone out there. He is absolutely a fantastic individual. And I think that's very disarming for a lot of people who, who want to potentially maybe come at him for being, he's not as good as he thinks he is, because he is. And he doesn't think he's that great because he knows he has a lot, but he just he wants to put in the work. It's, he's an incredible individual. I mean, it's, just, it's just fun. I'm just here to get better and learn, have different coaching because that's kind of important to me trying to get other people's opinion on different footwork and different uh, offenses, I guess, just to expand my knowledge. Yeah, I mean, it's nice because, like, I have a balance of both American and Canadian, just in case either one, because, like, here it's Canadian and it's three-man, so it's, like, it, you get more one-on-one -on -one situations, which is, like, better for development. And then at Mount Dog, it's, it's just, uh, it's just four down football it's american football it's you you're hitting someone right across from you six inches away he's got physical gifts that you just don't come across in this level uh, with the size that he has it's six seven 350 pounds he's got some of the best feet i've ever seen on any offensive lineman his way his ability to get back and forth laterally across the line is incredible he's got soft hands when they need to be and he's got stiff hands when you have to have them um, he's just got some of those uh, intangibles that every offensive line coach dreams of all six guys could have. I got the level now with Sebastian. We review film together, and I pick out the uh, the minor points, like you know where his, where his foot angles needs to be, you know where his hand needs to be to get a, a better leverage drive on a guy working upfield. How to scrape his shoulders off to get to that second level. You know that's what we're at with Sebastian. Is the, the, the higher level, you know, finding tuning of his game. Okay. Sebastian's got definitely defense or D1 uh, potential playing down in the states. He can go basically any school. He's just, he's got a love of the game that's going to take him anywhere he wants to go. Uh, he loves the nuance of the playing offensive line. He's got great leadership skills. Uh, he's smart, he just absorbs football. Tell me about that feeling going to your senior year. I'm nervous, I don't know. I I, I'm, I know how the, the last game affected like all the grade 12s this year and I, I, I know it's coming and it's going to be here eventually so I just got to live and, and do everything I can in the moment and just be be present, you know, not, not think too much and just kind of have fun. With opportunities on the horizon, the future sure looks bright for this young man. Be sure to get out in the community for the start of the high school football season and check out Sebastian and the Mount Doug Varsity Rams as he looks to put his stamp 
on his final season of the program. My name is Cam Smith with Youth Sports Production. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you on the field.